Hey everyone and welcome to another HD tutorial. In this video I will be showing you how to speed up your Safari web browser just a little bit faster. I won't be using WebKit for this video just for the purposes of people who don't actually have WebKit yet. So I've opened up Safari and the first thing that I can tell you guys is that you can go to the history, class, history tab and clear your history. The second thing that you can do is go to the edit button and hit empty cache. This will empty um, saved web pages in uh, Safari's history. The next thing, you can go to the edit tab and hit reset Safari. Now you can choose which ones of these uh, tabs that it will actually apply, but um, it can close all Safari windows. It will clear recent web searches. I unchecked remove autofill because I actually use it and uh, remove save names and passwords. I also unchecked that. But um, I left all the others checked and I hit reset. This reset and opened a new Safari window browser and that will make Safari much faster. The last thing you can do is open use private browsing. So when private browsing is turned web not saved entry, downloads are not saved and they're automatically removed from the downloads window and autofill also isn't saved. So nothing is saved, no cookies will be saved, and no information of tracking, spam, malware, nothing will be saved um, when you're using in private browsing. So I do that, and to make sure you're still in private browsing, hit the edit button and make sure there's still a check next to that. So that is how, that is another way to make Safari faster. A quick way to do a lot of these things is to use the CCleaner tool that I did a review on earlier. Um, CCleaner does a lot of uh, removing these temporary internet files. If you just run the cleaner once, you can see it's removed uh, three megabytes of temporary files, roaming, etc. Um, the last thing you can do is if you're on a really intensive website, such as maybe I went to youtube.com, and or let's say I just went to myspace.com, right? I would hit the develop button, which I also did a video on how to get and I could disable images. So now I will go to myspace.com again and there are much fewer images on the page except for the advertisements. I could go to develop and disable styles, disable JavaScript. Now as you can see this page is going to load extremely simply but quite quickly. So that is uh, another way of speeding it up. If You can always uh, re-click all of these uh, styles and such to uh, get these images back. So, those are just a few ways to increase the speed of your Safari web browsing experience without actually switching to WebKit. And um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any other video ideas for me, just subscribe and uh, DM me a link or a uh, video idea. And um, otherwise, um, thanks for watching. Peace.